Hey folks, it's Friday afternoon. That means it's time for Last Call. We're going to count down the top five games of the MLS weekend. I'm Matt Doyle, joined by Nick Rosano. Dan Hayek behind the camera. How you doing, Dan? Number five on our list, Western Conference Showdown is RSL host Portland. And Portland looking to break that awful, awful road winless streak. At, at, at altitude, at RSL. It's going to be really difficult, but RSL have Alvaro Saborio missing, sprained his shoulder in that Champions League win at Tauro, and they've had enough trouble scoring as it is. They haven't scored two goals in an MLS game since July, so they're going to need to find some way to score. The good news for them is that apart from Sabo, they will have their first choice lineup on the field. For Portland, play a little bit of a different formation uh, on Wednesday against San Jose. They played in a 4-4-2, kind of an empty bucket, uh, instead of their normal 4-2-3-1. Looked to work pretty good for Danny Mwanga, who scored two goals. Uh, the second one was a great goal, but again, that late collapse conceded two goals to the Quakes. Uh, they're going to have to find a way to hold on in those late games. They do, in fact, take the lead at Real Salt Lake, uh, so it should be interesting to see how they fare. And this one will be Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC Sports Network. We'll have a live chat on MLS Soccer. Number four on our list, we have Vancouver hosting the Colorado Rapids. And the Whitecaps fighting for their playoff lives. Who would have thought that two months ago? They were up to second in the West at one point, but the bottom has really fallen out. They've lost each of their last five. They've scored just one goal in that time. They've scored just four goals since July. This is a team that has no idea where the net is. Now, Martin Rennie has experimented a little bit, went with a diamond midfield against Dallas and nearly got a, a point out of it, but they didn't get any goals out of it. So maybe... Darren Maddox and Kenny Miller starting together. It could be time to try that. could be time to put Miller on the bench and go with Camilo and Maddox. Either way, something has to change. Now for Colorado, their season's pretty much over, but what they've done in the past couple of weeks is integrate Henry Thomas into the team, and he has made a difference. Now they haven't gotten a lot of results, but they've just played better defensively. They've played better in terms of keeping the ball, and he's allowed guys like Martin Rivero, Jeff Lorenowitz, Tony Cassio to go forward with a little bit more aplomb and a little bit more purpose. They just haven't had the finishing touch. You can catch that one at Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. And number three on our list, a match that is rife with playoff implications in the Eastern Conference at both the top and the bottom of the hunt is Montreal host Sporting Kansas City. Montreal really need to win this one. They're hanging by a thread in the Eastern Conference playoff race. But at the top of the Eastern Conference, Sporting look to extend their lead and could even move into a tie for the Supporters' Shield, depending on the result of that later Seattle-San Jose game. Kind of an interesting matchup. Both teams have won at the other team's home stadium earlier this year. Uh, Sporting pulled out a 3-1 to -one win in Montreal, and they'll be looking to repeat that. Marco De Vio has scored in each of his last four games. Montreal has lost the last two, but still, he's the man in form for them. Sporting Kansas City, on the other one, have won six out of their last seven on the road. Pulled out a great 2-0 win at New York Red Bulls in midweek. Uh, Kai Kabara and Sapong getting on the score sheet. Uh, so Montreal will definitely have to watch out for them, especially with Alessandro Nesta not having played to his best in that loss to Chicago. To put it mildly. Uh, this one will be Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. It's on TSN and RDS in Canada, MLS Live in the U.S. At number two on our list, we have the Chicago Fire hosting the Columbus Crew. Nobody is hotter than the Fire. I'm sorry I just had to say it like that. Not intentional. But this is the best team in the league right now. They, they've only lost once in their last eight. They've found goals from all over the field. And once again, they've integrated three big new names in midseason and has worked out. The same thing they did last year, except this time they're going to make the playoffs. Chris Rolfe back with a fury. Uh, Shergill McDonald, he's not exactly a clinical finisher, but he opens up the field for everybody else. And Flacco Fernandez playing the best soccer of his MLS career. He's been finding net, and he's been really helping spread the ball around in midfield, either playing wide or even centrally a couple of times. For Columbus, it comes down to one guy, Federico Higuain. Nick's favorite player. The little magician makes Columbus dangerous any time they're within 30 yards of goal. And if you give up a free kick, you're going to lose. Justin Miram got onto the end of one against Chiefs USA in the 89th minute this week to give the crew a much needed win. We've seen Chad Marshall, we've seen Hyra Arietta, Julius James has come close a couple of times. So basically, don't foul. You can't foul the crew or else you're going to lose. The fire, They've been pretty good about not fouling. They've been pretty good at playing at a unit and not exposing their defenders. you got to like the home side in this one. And you can catch that one at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Saturday on MLS Live. 
And number one on our list, of course, two teams that absolutely love each other, Seattle Sounders against the San Jose Earthquakes. Yeah, the second time these two teams have met up at CenturyLink Field, the Quakes pulling out a 1-0 win up there very early in the season. Uh, this time around, two teams with very prolific offenses, and, well, they're at the top of the table, but not great defenses coming together. Uh, Chris Wondolowski has scored in his last three games at CenturyLink Field, dating back to 2010. Seattle have not kept a clean sheet for about a month, so San Jose's got to like their chances of at least getting a goal there, but can they stop Seattle from scoring? Freddie Montero in the form of his life, five goals and two assists in his last five MLS games. Seattle on a high after clinching that CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinals berth. The only question mark for them, Eddie Johnson has suspended the yellow card accumulation. So that leaves some questions for Siggy Schmidt. Will he put Sammy Ochoa up top, who went the full 90 in that Champions League win? Will he switch to a more of a 4-5-1 formation? Maybe we see Steve Zakuwani, Mario Rosales, Christian Tiffert leading the line with Ozzy Alonso and Brad Evans a little deeper. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but no love lost between these two teams. It should be a thrilling game up at CenturyLink Field. It'll be Saturday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. That'll do it for us. We're going to be playing in front of the TV all weekend watching MLS. Hope you will be too. We'll see you on Monday.